Welcome to Celebrating the Givers in a Season of Giving, the Treasures of SAMHSA's Permanent Collection. I'm Laura Huckabee, the Assistant Director and Collections Manager here at the San Angelo Museum of Fine Arts. We'll be looking at works from each area of the collection today, starting with the ceramics and American glass in our second floor gallery. Some of the ceramic pieces in the collection are functional and some are sculptural. This untitled sculptural work made by Peter Volkus in 1973 was a gift of Daniel and Edith Ehrlich. Volkus is known for his aggressive and energetic sculptural work, which continues to influence modern ceramics. He is credited with elevating the medium of ceramics from decorative art to fine art, and also with introducing the Japanese wood fire kiln to the United States. Volkus was greatly influenced by abstract expressionist Jackson Pollock, as you can see, this is not a functional vessel. Rather, the gashes, slashes, and globs in and on the surface allow you to feel the expression of emotion and gesture, much like the splattered paint across the surfaces of Pollock's paintings. In 2013, we added a new focus area to our collections, American Manufactured Glass. This little bottle is an example of one of the most iconic designs of the 20th century, the Rubarambic line created by Reuben Haley for Consolidated Glass in 1928. It was a gift of Neil and Francis M. Davis Ryan. This series of glassware was inspired by Cubist paintings Haley saw in Paris in 1925, and is also an example of the Art Deco style, which characterized the elegant designs of the 20s and 30s in everything ranging from furniture to evening gowns. The name Rubarambic is the combination of the name of a Persian poetry genre and the geometry term for an oblique angled parallelogram, an appropriate name for a design that is both poetic and precise at the same time. Our next stop is Gallery 2 on the third floor, where we have some of our Texas art along with our Spanish colonial and Mexican religious art. Molly Crowther's The Poplars was a gift of the great-grandchildren of the artist. Crowther was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but she moved right here to San Angelo in 1907. Crowther had studied at the Art Institute of Chicago and also with the Dean of Texas Artists, Frank Ray, in Dallas. In 1921, she founded the Texas Artist Camp in Cristoval, just 20 miles south of here. The camp, the first in Texas, grew in its seven years of existence from a local gathering to one of the leading institutions of its kind in the Southwest. Here in the last and largest of our galleries, we have more Texas art and more devotional art from Latin America. Some of the devotional art here was made by self-taught artisans for the homes of the faithful, and other works were made by professional artists for magnificent cathedrals. This larger than life kneeling angel from 1888 by Salvador Guevara was one of a pair of two which were created for the main altar of the Puebla Cathedral in Mexico. The angels were placed facing the altar on either side. Eventually, when the sculpture began to deteriorate, the church decided to deaccession the angels and have new ones made. Collector Richard Parkman purchased this angel and later donated it to our museum. We are deeply grateful for the generosity of all those who have helped us build this wonderful collection over the years so we can share it with our community. These four focus areas stand out as among the best and works from our collections are frequently borrowed by other museums across the state. We hope you enjoyed this tour of works from SAMHSA's permanent collection. Thank you for joining us.